Hasbullah, that's the name. If you're here watching this video, you probably know who that is. But why do you know who that is? Well, let's take a look into the origin behind one of social media's most beloved recent superstars. Born Hasbullah Magomedov, the pint-sized Makachakala Dagestan Russia native exploded onto the social media scene in late 2020 with fun little videos expressing his feisty personality. Perhaps the most notable of the early clips is his sucker punch getaway, for example. Despite his small stature, Hasbullah was born in 2003, making him 19 years old roughly. With all things considered, the belief is that Hasbullah deals with some type of growth hormone deficiency or a form of dwarfism as a result of his childlike presentation. That, however, has not been confirmed. Officially, Hasbullah measures at three feet, four inches tall typically posting prank type videos or things in affiliation to his interest. It's not hard to see why Hasbullah took off the way that he has, especially considering this all came at the peak of the pandemic. He provided such a much needed comic relief that soon attracted several notable names in combat sports. Hasbullah is believed to be a Muslim as he is seen at Mecca performing Umrah and observing Ramadan in a video of himself at the Saudi Arabian holy city. He's believed to also have a brother and sister whose identities cannot be confirmed right now. He's reportedly worth $100,000 as of 2002 and currently has 2.6 million Instagram followers along with, let me check the notes real quick, that can't be right. According to TikTok, 5 billion views on their platform. That's, wow. All right, let's continue on. Hasbullah reached such levels of internet fame that Joe Rogan and Logan Paul watched and spoke about him on their respective podcasts. Bulla on TikTok, Mini no. Khabib. Oh yeah, the little tiny guy. I'm trying yeah. to get him on the show. Oh, how are you gonna get him here? I don't know, by saying it on a very big podcast. But oh. I really want Hezbollah to come on my show. You gotta we'll give him pay that paper. Him. We'll that pay Hezbollah $10,000 to come on the show. Okay. He has a fight with another little guy, Abdu Rosa. Bro, Hezbollah, bro, I'm channeling him. The fiercest warrior in the world. What do you say about his ferocity we that excites you? love Hezbollah. Him. He's a good guy. We love him, yes. Eventually, the vital sensation even found his way to a seat cage side at a UFC event in Abu Dhabi for UFC 267 in October of 2021. In one of Hasbullah's videos, he reenacted a weigh-in of Khabib Nurmagomedov's that led to the forming of a relationship with all-time MMA great. Khabib has gone as far to be featured in some videos with his youthful companion. As a result, Hasbullah earned the nickname Mini Khabib by many of his fans. Our thoughts go out to the original Mini Khabib who came before him. She's been surpassed on the viral star charts by a country mile, to say the least. As successful as Hasbullah has been on his own, it truly takes two to tango, and a great portion of his popularity can be owed to the involvement of a seemingly friendly rivalry with fellow larger-than-life tiny personality, Abdu Rozik. The two made a video one day of a stare-down that quickly devolved into a little scuffle, with them being separated. It's still the most popular video of Hasbullah's to this day. Rosic is also around the same age as Hasbul at 18, but has an actual career behind him as a singer. Regardless, he still continued to grow in popularity for having an online persona similar to that of Hasbul's. Now the two have continually teased putting together a fight with one another, whether it be solo videos or collaborative efforts. Lighthearted and fun for the most part, there has still been backlash towards the two. Many naysayers have declared Hasbullah and Abdu's antics as cheap publicity stunts and unethical actions due to their insensitive towards the issues faced by other dwarfism sufferers. The organization's head, Uliana Podpolnaya, commented on the potential MMA fight between Hasbullah and Abdu saying, It's not even like a show fight. They get paid a lot of money, and it's a show to make people laugh. There's nothing serious about this. This isn't sport. This is unethical. Wrong from my point of view. An official fight has yet to take place between the two, and it certainly feels like something that won't happen in any serious manner anyway. That hasn't stopped UFC President Dana White from being asked about the idea of it though. Always want to tease a bit, White would say the chances of Hasbullah fighting in the UFC aren't zero. Of course, the likely only opponent imaginable in such an absurd concept would have to be Abdu, or someone around the same size. If CM Punk could make it, anything is possible, right? Next time.